Thank you, General Evaluator Ang Weekend. Ladies and gentlemen, this is my grammar report, and I shall commence with the um, notation of the speakers who have used the word of the day, which is propel. Distinguished Toastmaster so far used eight times. Congratulations. Pauling Ng used three times. Sam Ko uttered three times. Chester used it once. Cecilia used it once. Uh, Su An used it once. Annie Wong used it twice. Sashni once, and last but not least, general evaluator, we can use it once. A total of 21 times usage of the word of the day. Congratulations to the club and everyone who have used the word. Now, I have also recorded some not so good usages of the uh, English language. Perhaps it sometimes it's a slip of the tongue or unintentional. The word pronoun, pronunciation, it should be pronounced as pronunciation not pronunciation. Something nonsense, perhaps it should be changed to something nonsensical, in my opinion. Very, very is a little too much, a little on the superlative degree, perhaps just what one very will do. No dinner, tapao. I think this is very colloquial or a slip of the tongue or probably a sign of just hunger, perhaps just to change it to pack or take away instead of the word tapao, you know. Welcome back again. I think we are having some verbal diarrhea that we need to utter so many times. Perhaps welcome back. You don't need the word again. Share a bit about impactful. Hmm, this is overly impactful. So perhaps you want to say share about the impact. Mr. General Evaluator, I don't think in the world there is a person surname evaluator as the name general. So therefore try to avoid addressing the role player as Mr. General Evaluator, perhaps just General Evaluator, or the name of the person, or perhaps best using the Toastmaster's title. Hantam Ajala, sometimes we are so colloquial again that we just want to hit it everywhere we can. So perhaps suggested usage should be just hit it. Ladies and gentlemen, I have recorded a lot of good and beautiful phrases for this evening. I shall name them according to what I can record. So why say you can do it? And that is very powerful indeed. And along the way, when she was sharing the table topics, uh, topics itself, I also increased the number of table topics collection in my uh, 20 years of Toastmasters journey. Men should be the cook at home. I think this is very profound and there should be some changes in this country. Metamorphosis is the most profound of all acts. Hmm. This is very powerful indeed. So we need to metaform ourselves into a different uh, pain. As Sokha was sharing four step tips, I find that it's very beautifully crafted because she used the four steps. She portrayed as think calmly, organize clearly, deliver masterfully, and time perfectly. You can hear the same concluding syllable, li, at every four of the tips. Very well done. Creativity is the intelligence. Creativity is intelligence, having fun. Oh, there's a beautiful quote from Albert Einstein. And so far also mentioned, either make them smile or make them cry. So it is always very melodious and very melodious in her speech. Instinct is the impulse or urge to move. Instantly, I find that that tone is very well presented because I can feel that it's a very tight slap for my late father. Fantastic indeed, very impactful. Sharon said, have them and look up to them. Again, it is rhythmic, so it's beautifully phrased. Saifu shared this phrase. A picture can bring meaningful joy and you can hear and feel the emotion in the word joy when Saifu mentioned that. Georgina shared this sentence. Every end of the tunnel, every end of the tunnel, there is hope. Instead of uh, there is light, so she make a twist that is even equally impactful. Pauline Ng said, "Finding joy, and instantly I can feel the emotion, a uh, beautiful emotion, very warm in the word joy itself. So if you can say it, you can actually mean it. So therefore, crafting the words plus emotion that will deliver the message. Chester." Has came up with this uh, phrase, decisions are made from past experiences and 
from his years of uh, profound experiences that he shared in his speech. And we can find that this is truly something that is very profound indeed. And he even gave us this message, hold your horses. And he doubled it with a lot of uh, duplicative um, words, such as tap and identify, express and communicate, reacting and responding. So all these are very beautifully done and presented, and it's always have a duplicate degree. Fantastic, uh, Chester. Cecilia shared uh, this something which is micro mini, but it's very impactful. Teeny weeny bit. I find that it's so magnanimous. Sue Ann said, elevate an already strong speech. Wow, there is an elevation, there is a, a incremental in the words of elevate and as well as already strong. Very well indeed. Ken shared with us this phrase, emotion is the better solution than logic. Hmm, I find it so magic. Sashni said, less is more. So such big words, less is more. So ladies and gentlemen, that is my report and I love this meeting. Congratulations to anyone who have used the word propel. In fact, it propelled me to uh, contribute more as I've already written two pages of this record of this meeting. So I sign off as a grammarian for this evening. Remember the word of the day, propel.